Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I look like garbage right now. I'm well aware I literally just woke up and then went out and checked the mailbox and got a little surprise. I need to hop on here immediately and film this video right away. And it doesn't really matter that I don't have makeup on because we're just gonna be seeing my face for like two seconds or maybe a bit longer, but like not a whole ass video of just this, whatever this is. So I got my babe box order the mail today. I ordered this, I think, maybe a month ago. Disclaimer, I actually had an issue with this whole subscription box company nonsense and I'll get into that um, after I open up the box because I do want to just get my first impression on it and then talk about the problem that I had. So my experience, what I'm saying is my like awful experience, part of this babe box is, and I'm going to put the screenshots up too, so I got one of those ads obviously on Instagram and it said like try your first month free, just pay for shipping. So I thought well it's like great, like I think it came to like $10.66, that's prime for like a nice box of supposed nice cosmetics and the picture that is up, let's put it right here. The picture is up right here, you can see all the stuff in the box and we'll see if it matches what's in here because that's what said is going to be in this box. So then on the website I like did my information, paid for it, cool. So on the website it said if you want to cancel any time for your subscription just email this, this email. So I emailed them and I said hi um, I'm just making sure that like I'm just getting the first month for free, that's what like I read, that's what I'm, I'm understanding, that's what was like communicated to me. A woman emailed me back, you know what, I'm not even gonna go find her name. Someone emailed me back and said they were just kind of rude and just saying like, yeah, no, you have to pay for two more. So I'm like, okay, I don't understand. I kind of asked them for the questions and someone else emailed me back um, from the company and said, yeah, no, you still have to pay for two other months and sent me some like hidden link that I, I don't know where she found this link, but apparently that's where it um, discloses and probably like the fine, finest of print that you still, you get the first, month you just have to pay shipping but you still have to pay for two other months which okay but then you make that clear because that's not that's not what i signed up for i mail her back and i'm kind of just again i'm very pleasant in these situations because i know like customer service would like to deal with people and them have issues so i was very like pleasant and i just said okay so from what i'm understanding i still you're telling me like, i still have to pay for the two months like there's nothing that we can do so she emailed me back again and said well we can give you like 20 percent off the first month and then maybe 30 like just really trying to just still get those sales. Just like really not helping me at all. So I said, okay, so you know what? That's not really what I want to do. Ideally, I really just want to cancel subscription. Like that's, from my understanding, what I could easily do at any time. So can we go ahead and do this? Like, is there like, can you really not do anything for me? She doesn't answer. So then I'm gonna say five days later, kind of like left it. Five days later, I'm like, okay, no. So seriously, like, there's there's really nothing you can do. Like, I really just want to cancel it and just, you know, hasn't answered me. So I ordered this on January 16th. It is now January 31st and it's coming. I had to call my bank and everything because I'm like, well, like, is there any way that they can like stop the charge? What ended up happening after I talked to three different people and they kind of said the best way to do this is to just literally get a completely new card. Honestly, like this is the only way to get kind of the charge to not go through. Like I'm not paying another $30 for another two months for something that I didn't, like I don't even know if I'm gonna like what's in here and even if I do, like, $30 a month for some of this stuff, depending on what it is, I guess it's just not for me, you know? Like, so I kind of figured that's why I did this, because I'm like, oh, for the first month, it's like pretty much free, give it a go, that's like, that's great. But that's not the case. So, Bay Box, you're problematic. Not happy about that, I don't love it, I had to literally get a whole ass new credit card, because you wouldn't cooperate and you just stopped emailing me, and you were just gonna charge my card. So, psych, that's not how this works. Okay, so, have the box right here. This is it, Bay Box, and let's open it. So cute packaging, give them that. That's cute, it's got like little X's all over the box. Don't ever cut towards yourself, this is a bad idea. Okay, so, open it up, keep packaging on the inside. Babe box, spread the babe box, love, post and tag. Hashtag love babe box. Well, I don't think I do love babe box, so we'll find out. We got a little card in here that says happy new year thank you babe for making this year huge for us you're welcome and what's in my babe box let's find out so we have you won't pause that and read it if you don't believe me it says true and luscious cosmetics angel eyes eyeshadow primer you know this isn't it jericho cosmetics natural purifying soap mud salt and sulfur bang beauty eyeshadow palette babe cosmetics cucumber suit smoothing facial mask 
Luna by Luna surprise product. So the total box value is $94. Allegedly is what they're saying. So if you already kind of know what I'm getting at, there's no mention of Anastasia. Where in the picture that was shown on the ad was an Anastasia highlighting palette. So I mean, I get like marketing and stuff, but like that's just that's that's just actually false advertising. So, anyways, so let's open this up. <laughs> Rip and open. Okay, right, so this is everything we've got. Again, cute packaging. I'm not mad at it, but. Anyways, so let's do the true and luscious first thing that we open here. So eyeshadow primer and base. So I already have an eyeshadow primer, so I don't really need this. But anyways, that's what that looks like. It's again, keep packaging, I'm not mad, but then we have the Jericho Cosmetics Natural Purifying Soap. I really only use Dove soap, so didn't really need a bar of soap, but thanks. Doesn't really smell like anything either, so that's fun. And then we have the Bang Beauty eyeshadow palette. It's a little square, okay. Nice, this is nice. This is really nice. I'm not gonna use any of these colors. Look at how small those pans are. Okay, that's fun, all right. Okay, then we got the Babe Cosmetics, so their own brand. A mask. Okay. And the last thing, this is a surprise product. Mmm. Just Luna by Luna. <laughs> Little surprise product. I've never bought one of these boxes because I was like, oh, like, let's try it. Let's see if I like it. And because the first subscription said, Oh, it's gonna be an Anastasia palette and all this blah blah blah. And I'm like, oh, we have an eyeshadow. I feel like I already have this color. Thanks so much. That's such a cute surprise product. So, um, honestly, I've never heard of any of these brands. So, $94. Um, this is worth $94. My. So, definitely not my normal background for my videos, but I just do not feel like filming in the corner because I need to open this and just really lay it all out. So, in my opinion, this wasn't worth it. Everything that was in here was not right, it was completely falsely advertised, and I might go do some research, but I almost don't really care. Maybe it's true, but I just like $94 for everything that's in here. I have not heard of one of these brands. The eyeshadows were so little. Uh, yeah, I had a horrible experience with this company. Like I said, I emailed them like two or three times and they just didn't answer me and just left it out. We're charging you and that's it. Uh, literally had to go in full, like, full on get a brand new credit card so that the credit card they would go to charge is null and void and doesn't work anymore. So I like, literally had to go through all this trouble just because they weren't just being like a normal company and it's not even like 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 a marketing trick in my opinion that's just straight up like blatant lying and false advertising like not like a marketing trick where okay an example sephora you see it all the time on instagram it'll pop up and say save 50 percent or 50 percent off but then in little writing at the bottom that you can see right on that ad says like up to or it'll say on select items or things like that. So then you read it and go, okay, so it's up to 50% off, not every, not like everything's 50% off. So you read that already before you even go on the site. This did not do that. And then when I reached out and tried to get help, I got nothing. I got no help. I got no like support. They were rude, they were blunt. They really weren't trying to help me. And in my opinion, like for my own example, my own experience, like where I work, if someone has an issue with returning something that we can't return, or just like anything, they email head office and head office, they handle it and that customer always leaves satisfied like 9.9 .9 times out of 10 because head office gives them the okay and they go, yeah, like this, whatever. This company did not do that. They were still just trying to like, get my money and then it makes me think like, okay, so how many other people are they just charging? They're just charging their credit card and just sending them shit even after someone wants to cancel. Cause even on the spot where it said cancel anytime, like, it said you just have to email them and they'll cancel it. That's not what happened at all. What I was expecting was her to be like, oh yeah, we can do, go ahead, we'll do that, like don't worry. No, like both women or whomever, both people that I talked to were just 
so rude. So I had a terrible experience with Bay Box. I do not recommend it whatsoever. You guys know that I'm like honest about this stuff. I'm not mad at the products I got in here. I'm just mad that it's not what I was, it's not what was advertised to me. And it's like the reason I bought this, I bought this because I thought I was getting what I was advertised. So I digress. Good to have this video here, guys. Like I said, I do not recommend Bay Box. I had an awful experience with their customer service and their false advertisement and their product. So highly, highly do not recommend, like, don't get this box, guys. I really just, I really don't recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Leave comments down below if you've ever experienced something like this with this brand or different ones, like FabFit fun boxes, Ipsy bags, like all that kind of stuff, the subscriptions where you get any kind of like monthly subscription you pay, you get a box of goodies kind of stuff. I am curious, cause like the FabFit fun and there's another box that I was curious to try. It seemed like it had goodies in there, but I, you guys know I enjoy doing these videos. I really do because I like to, really debunk the situation. I'm sure most people, maybe you'd assume, but hey, I, I'm one of those people where I need to try things for myself to really know for me, okay, it didn't work. Cause I do trust people, but like, you know, especially on social media, you know, people, like I'm sure there's probably so many influencers out there like, oh my God, get this box, it's so good. And it's not bad, but like, I don't like to support companies that are like this company. Just, just, just bad, just whole bunch of bad. Uh, also comment down below if there are any other things that you want me to try. I guess this is kind of a I bought this so you don't have to video. And as always subscribe. I just kind of realized I never in my video, you know how most like the real YouTubers say like, oh, I make new videos every day or days. I don't say that. I feel like because I'm still trying to figure out a schedule that works for me. So we'll leave it at I make new videos every week. I post maybe a couple in a week. I post videos. That's what I do. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop. And I'm gonna get ready for work. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.